Hi guys, I'm Clinton and we are going to delve a bit deeper into putting yourself out there. There are two kinds of people. There's the guys that say, oh my word, I want to be famous. And then there's the people that would rather die than be in the limelight, right? There is no right or wrong. I mean, people are just different. However, I'm going to offer you a different perspective, right? I hope it'll help you. There is a fate that's worse than death, and the tragedy in it is that it's avoidable. Right? It is possible to live and not exist. Now, what I mean by that is you can live a long life. However, once you pass away, you have left nothing behind to say that you are here. And I mentioned this in, in The Road to Passing It On. However, this can be avoided if you make a conscious effort to leave something behind. Now here's the amazing thing. We live in an unprecedented time. We have access to all the information in the world and we have the ability to share what we have with the world. Media is not a tool to acquire fame. It allows us to transcend ourselves. So what he's trying to say is essentially you are cloning yourself. Now, see, every time you create something, now whether that be writing or drawing or recording or whatever the case is, you are breathing life into it. It stands apart from you. You've captured a moment of yourself in time. So what this means is that what you've created has a life of its own. So while you are still doing your thing, it is busy doing its thing. It operates without your intervention and that is a key point to all of this. Right, and that's my part done. So let me give you an example. Prisha came on to pass me it on. She showed us how to make soji. Now, that episode has about 49,000 views, right? And it took us like 1.5 hours to record Prisha. Then it took me about another 6.5 hours just to do all the back end work, the editing and, and uploading and, and all the stuff that I have to do on my end. Right? Um, so in total about 8 hours. Now, if she had to teach people how to make soji the old fashioned way, she would be limited to her geographic area for one, right? Then it would have taken her about 8.3 years to achieve the same result, okay? That's how long she would have to teach people. So I met someone and, and they mentioned to me that they wanted to make soji for their family, so they went on to our channel and they watched the episode and they made the soji. Now, the interesting thing is, is that this person is in Australia. So it's as if, okay, Prisha is busy with her life. She's recorded the episode, right? She's busy with her life, um, her work commitments, all that stuff. And it's as if that instance of her had gone to Australia and taught the person how to make the soji. In the same instance, she's had comments from people in England, right? And other places. So that 1.5 hours of her time has multiplied itself, right, and, and increased her influence on an international scale. So let me give you another example. My aunt Ishara, she, um, she, she was on the show and she showed us how to make pickle. And she passed away in July of this year. And um, at the time she had about 5,000 views on the episode. And it's now October. She's got about 10,000 views, right? And, and that is the thing that intrigued me most about media and why I want to get into it was because it allows you to transcend yourself even beyond your life. I mean, if you think about it, she is still, still influencing people in, um, in how they make pickle as well as she, sh she shared of herself in the episode. I mean, can you imagine being able to help people even after you've gone? I mean, it's, it, it's hard to fathom sometimes. Now, I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom about it. My point is that the sooner you start, the more you have to leave behind, as well as, it's not about the likes, it's not about, about the followers, it's about leaving a legacy, right? And that's what you should be focusing on. I hope this helps you. Until next time.